Hello and welcome to the channel. If you enjoy the video and you want to catch more of my reviews and gameplay videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video we'll be taking a look at Yakuza Kiwami. Now before we get into the video I have to say straight away, I love this game. I love this game's franchise. If you're merely here and you've never played this game before and you're just looking to see if this is a good game, if you like action games with fighting, stop the video, go and buy this game. The story of Yakuza, in a nutshell, centers around betrayal, kidnapping, revenge, fr best friends turning on each other. There is so much that goes on in the main story that I could make a 10 minute vid video just covering that. And you also have a side quest as well, which they all have their own unique and charming aspects to them, which just adds to the insanity of this game. Like one moment you could be playing this game and you're doing like a really serious, hard hitting storyline mission, and then the next thing you know, you could be doing something completely crazy. When the game wants to, it doesn't take itself too seriously and it embraces what it is and that's a video game and video games are supposed to be fun but when it wants to drive home a really hard-hitting story element that's when this game really comes alive in my opinion the game is an open world and at first glance you may think that it's very small you may load up the game look at the map and think I've played bigger maps than this before Trust me, there is so much content in this small environment, if you will, that it will keep you busy for hours. Larger open worlds doesn't necessarily mean a better gaming experience. This game is a good example of that. The combat system in Yakuza is both brilliant and frustrating at the same time. It's brilliant because the character is very fluid and each of the fight instances has its own benefits. And it's frustrating in the fact that, you know, if you get, once you get swarmed by a few enemies, they can just like one movie on the floor and you get that sort of rage. If you've ever played Street Fighter against someone who just gets you in the corner and just does that one move on you, that level of frustration can be felt in this game in the fighting sequences at certain points. I'm not even gonna lie. Once you get bored of doing all the side quests and the main story and you just want something to do in game, there are multiple mini games to check out. In the footage that you see now I'm just showing you darts and that's because I'm too lazy to cut to each sequence of every mini game. However, playing all the mini games is required for an achievement slash trophy and I do have a video of that. So the link will be in the description if you're interested in seeing all the other mini games. Hopefully you've been able to tell from the footage that you've been watching so far that the graphics and the environment in this game are really, really good. As for the sound, you're either going to love the Japanese voice acting or you're not going to enjoy reading the subtitles. I've had many discussions with friends who like this series and we're pretty much on the same agreement that this game probably wouldn't be as good if it had English voice actors replacing you know, the Japanese ones. So go into it knowing that if you don't want to read a load of subtitles to keep up to the story, you know, this may not be the game for you. So I'm going to leave you now with some uninterrupted gameplay. And just so you know, in the gameplay that you're going to see, there is story related spoilers. So if you don't want to know anything, probably best not to watch from this point. If you've enjoyed the video and you feel like it's helping out a small gaming channel, be sure to click that subscribe button.
待てあ兄貴キリュウさん邪魔しないでください黙れ近づかんでくださいこれ以上あんたに組みやらされたくないんだお前真珠に銃向けて恥ずかしくないのかお前らの兄貴分だろ悪いのは田中のおじきです親に背向けて組裏切って錦は登場界を裏切ってる本当の裏切り者はどっちだうるせえ俺たちには親が絶対なんだ親殺しが口挟むんじゃねえ打ちたけ打てよ真珠は打てて俺は打てねえのか<笑>何ちんたらやってんだバカ野郎さっさと弾いて終わらせろや兄貴すすんません最後まで信じか風間のおやっさんはあけびって女に預けましたお俺の女です分かったあきみただあ兄貴これを信じお前し信じ信じ